hey guys so welcome back to another tutorial and today i'm going to show you how you can move your wordpress from subdirectory to the root directory so i have set up this website as you can see and installed wordpress in this directory called wordpress okay so when i try to access the main domain so you will see it is showing a blank page index and when i go to wordpress only then it will show you me the my website blog whatever you want to call it so you can see all the post and everything when i access has this uh, wordpress in the url so i want to remove this and i have created a tutorial about this earlier also but that in uh, in that video i have used a different method which i will show you explain now um, let's go to the file manager and the, all the files of this website is installed uh, is hosted in this folder wordpress okay so you can see all the files are here and in my previous method which i have shown you uh, in that what we did was selected all these files and moved it to the root folder but the problem with this method is um, it gets a little messy and it becomes less organized okay so now i'm going to show you a new method to do this and this is much better because everything will be much more organized so you will be able to access your website on this main url and there will be nothing uh, that directory name in the url wordpress but uh, all your files will still be in this folder wordpress or whatever your directory is called okay so let's start and for this first you have to go to file manager so if you are using cpanel it will be like this and if you are using any other different file manager basically you have to follow the same process but um, okay so first go to the directory where all the files are located and from here cop select this file index.php and we need another .htaccess which we cannot see right now and if it is the same case with you go to settings and here take this option show hidden files now save it and it will reload and now you can see this file we need um, .htaccess so select this file and then control and click this index.php now both files we have selected and right click on it and then click on copy okay so now remove this directory name from here and we want to copy it to the main root folder of this domain so copy files and now go to up one level and now you should be able to see this two files here okay and now what you have to do is select this index.php right click and then click on edit now click on edit again and um, copy this text i will put this in the description um, so replace um, okay you know add hash and on the next line add this text okay so adding hash will basically disable this line and it will become a text so if anything goes wrong you can just remove the hash and anything else you added and it will be back to original now click on save changes okay so now let's visit our website on the main url now instead of the blank page we should be able to see our website okay so right now we can access our website but um, now let's we but when we uh, view this post you can see again there is this wordpress in the url and the same thing with when we uh, visit a view any category or any page uh, except the home page you will see this wordpress in the url so now let's go to the uh, dashboard again so your dashboard will be uh, at the same old location that is wordpress slash wp admin so i will go there okay so it, it will be located at the same old url and from here we will go to settings go to general and from here um, in the site address remove the sl slash wordpress okay and then click on save changes and then go to permalinks and from here um, select a different permal post name type permalink click on save changes okay so even if you have set a permalink to post name just change it to something else and then again to post name so now let's visit our website 
and you can see it is loading at the main URL and when we click on this post view this post you can see now that slash WordPress uh, WordPress is not visible in the URL of this post and similarly if we go to any category that WordPress is not included in the URL so that's how simple it is and you can see everything is still organized all the files are still located in the old folder where they were so the only th important things uh, you have to remember is your wordpress admin area will still be located and only be accessible at the old url that is by adding slash wordpress but on the main website uh, which is accessible by the your customers viewers uh, public basically the public area will not uh, include this slash wordpress in url okay and another thing you have to import important thing is if you're using a plugin like elementor then you will have to update the new url in that in its settings too so a lot of people don't do that and uh, and use elementor then their website some images and stuff will stop working so then they will complain that okay it's just not working properly but you will have to update that i will post that in the description how to do it and uh, sorry i forgot to tell you but please keep a backup i hope you already have a backup of your wordpress website before making any changes and if you don't i will leave a link to that tutorial how to create a backup of your wordpress website and that's it guys for this video please do let me in the comments uh, your feedback how if you like this tutorial and anything else i should improve and do subscribe to the channel if you want to more wordpress tutorials yeah, i have a lot of tutorials about creating e-commerce website free ssl and everything so that's it guys i will see you in the next video